Thanks for joining today. I'm Kathy with Design by Kathy. Today, I'm going to show you how to repurpose a Crown Royal liquor bottle. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is I've already uh, my Crown Royal bottle, and I have painted it already with this spray paint, the Rustolian uh, hammered uh, copper hammer copper. So I've already put that on there because I needed it to dry really well before we could do the rest of our, our project. I'm going to be using this, uh, the Annie Sloan uh, chalk paint in Province color. So let's, let me get it open and we'll get the paint on there. <clears throat> If you haven't tried chalk paint yet, it is just the coolest, coolest stuff to use. So I'm just going to cover the entire bottle with the chalk paint. Um, you'll see, you'll see when, once we get to the, the latter uh, stages of this, why using this type of bottle, any kind of bottle with a raised, uh, little raised places is the best to use for this. And you can just go on and put a, I want to put a pretty thick coat on. I want it well covered. In fact, I'll probably, you know, put a couple of coats to make sure it's really covered completely. And you know, the more uh, the more little grooves or uh, etchings that your bottle has, you know, the better it's going to end up looking. But it's also you have to really work hard, a little harder to get the coverage all down in between all the little etchings. If you haven't tried chalk paint yet, Annie Sloan, as far as I know, was pretty much the uh, originator of it. But and I and I love her paints. But you can now also find them just about anywhere. I haven't tried um, that many of them to know if the you know the quality and <clears throat> is is the same or not. I chose this copper color because once we, like I said, once we get to our final step or our next to final step and we do a little sanding, this copper is going to be raised out of here and really give this, this bottle some unique definition. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for uh, just a few minutes. It doesn't take, you know, it dries. That's another nice thing about it. It dries really fast, really well. So we're gonna let it let it dry a little bit, and then we'll come back and put a second coat on it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add a second coat here. This is not completely dry, but it's it's uh, as you can see, it's going on and taking the second coat a little bit better. So we're going to add the second coat. And I hope I don't get my fingers stuck in there. Now we'll let this coat dry for a little bit. I've let this dry now for a couple of hours with the two coats on it. So now I'm going to take this uh, 220 um, sandpaper and we're going to take where all the little raised edges are and just kind of lightly sand. will do after we sand it and add the wax it's just going to give it a real vintage look so see that our, our copper is is pulling through here on all these little places but uh, it's not it's not sanding off just the chalk paint Also, sand off any little runs in the paint that you may have had, any little imperfections. I am applying a, a little pressure. But you know it's it's fine, you know super fine sandpaper. I'm wipe it off. Two different waxes. This is from the Annie, Sl Annie Sloan Soft Wax, and I, there's two different ones. There's a, a dark and a clear. I'm going to use the clear on, on this particular bottle base bottle. <laughs> Take my brush, get it down in there really good. And you want to smush it down in, you know, in between all your little risen places. Like I said, the purpose of this, <clears throat> this, you know, doing it, the chalk paint and the spray paint giving it this, like I said, vintage or, you know, a little worn look. 
<clears throat> All of the chalk paint uh, the products are very easy, easy cleanup as well. My brush and sit there just a few minutes and um, I'll put up wax here. You're going to take a, a clean uh, well, preferably a, a soft cloth, but I don't have one. <laughs> well, I don't have a clean one. Uh, I think they might have all ended up other places. You can see it's changed the color just a bit, but again, giving it that antique or vintage look. I want to make sure, like down in these little creases, I don't have any blobs of wax in there. I want to get make sure that there's nothing in there. <clears throat> and that is basically it. Now what you can do from this point on is one, you could put a, a monogram here or just an initial. Um, you could also take a uh, a little pump and make it into a you know a soap dispenser and then I have these I haven't really decided which one I'll use I've got this little anchor I won't use it in gold I would definitely paint it another color probably I would probably on this I'll probably come back and maybe use um, the copper but that's just an option I could paint it white or you know something else then I also found this so this is my other option of just putting this uh, this starfish on it and then to doing that um, put the lid on and there you have it our easy uh, upcycled recycled liquor bottle. Thanks for watching this video. If this video helped you, please be sure and like it. And, I, and thanks for subscribing. So you know, whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal, and you can do it.